Right, I'm showing you a no texting while driving app. And in the previous uh, you know, videos of this series, I showed you how to respond to a text and speak an incoming text out loud. Okay? And right now, we always send back the same exact message. I'm coding right now. I'll text you later. So it's not a very general purpose app. And what I want to make it is so the user of the app can actually set the outgoing message, just like you would do with a, a phone answering machine, right? This is a text answering machine. So I'm going to go to the designer. Our UI has nothing in it right now, but I'm going to add a few items, okay? So I'm going to add a label, and I'm going to call this the response label. Okay, and that's just going to be the actual stuff we send back to the person. And we can put a default in there. Um, I'm driving now, text you later. Okay, so right now that's, that's what's going to be sent back. Um, and then I'm going to grab a text box. Uh, you know, text box is how a user enters information. So it's like, you know, a, submit, a, a form where they can enter stuff. And so this will be the response text or response text box. Okay, I just renamed it so we'll know what we're doing later. And I'm going to add a button. Okay, and this is, I'll just rename it to submit button. And I'm going to just leave my UI really ugly. And, 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 and you know, in the next uh, part of the, this, this video series, I'll, I'll show you how to make it prettier. But, you know, I do want to put some text on here, which is just submit. Okay, so essentially, this is the message. The user is going to be able to type something in here, click submit, and I should change the message. And then when somebody does text me after that, I should use that, that new message every time. Okay, so I've got my UI you know, albeit pretty ugly. Let's go to the blocks. Um, we know, you know, we know how to respond to text and speak them out loud, but we need to handle, you know, when the user actually enters a new response message. Okay, so when they click the submit button, that's when we're going to act. Okay, so, you know, when they type, we don't care. Only when they cl click on the submit are we going to actually act. Okay, and when they submit it, we want to do a couple things. We want to put whatever they type in in the text box we want to move to to this label um, and then we're going to, we also want to make sure we use that label for our response text okay so first thing is I want to make my response label I want to make it equal to whatever's in the text box okay so if I grab response text box dot text there it is the, the get for it so I'm going to move Whatever they type in here, I'm going to move to that, okay? And then, you know, after they type in, click Submit, let's go ahead and erase what's in the text box. So I'm going to go ahead and say, okay, response text box. Um, I want to set you, your text, back to empty. Okay, so I'll just grab an empty text. Okay, that's, that's pretty good. And, and one thing I want to do is... Um, let's go back to the designer, and my phone just went out for a sec, so let's bring that back up. But in the designer, I want to make sure I have a hint for this text box, um, and let's just say, please enter a custom response. Okay, and so that's nice because when when you have that, um, then then it'll show up over over here. Okay, so and, until they start typing. All right, so we've got it where. The user, I think, can enter something. So let me just try this. So I've got my phone projected on the screen here. I'm going to go ahead and type in uh, my custom response, which is I'm busy. Okay. And I click submit, and good. So my label changed up top. So when I enter something, click submit, I change my top label, my response label, and I erase, you know, so they can type something else in if they want to. Okay, now the next thing I need to do is make sure we actually use this as the response text. Okay, right now, if you look at my blocks, I respond with this fixed text. I'm coding right now. I don't want that. Okay, in fact, what I want is whatever's in my response label, okay, whatever's in here, which if, you, if you'll remember, this guy's called um, response label, right? I want that to be sent back as as the message. Okay, so I'm going to grab response label dot text, stick it in as the message, and and voila, we're we're good. Okay, we're still going to speak the the text coming in, 
out loud, but we're going to send something different back depending on if the users, users changed it. Okay. Um, I could test this if I want. I'll go back to Google Voice and I'll just send another text. Um, send hello. Okay. Now when I send that, it should now respond with I'm busy. Um, let's see text from plus one dash four one five dash five seven four dash oh three eight one hello. Okay, so it did speak the text out loud. If I come back over to Google Voice, this Google Voice phone number should get back a response. So I just refresh the screen. Um, there's the message that Google Voice sent was hello, and in fact, it got the I'm busy response back. Okay, so our app is now working with a custom response. You know, and one thing one thing to realize here is you know that's a very common pattern is you're going to have these text boxes where people can enter information, some kind of submit button, um, and then somehow you want to keep track of what they've entered um, so you can use it use it later. But it's a very you know this this is a good example of a input form.